All right, so here we go. We got Blitz and Mech Slayer 1 playing against each other. We got uh, Seth against Jackson. Pretty classic matchup. Playing on the Cauldron. Yeah, I uh, I gotta say, I like seeing two, two classic aggro decks again. Pretty much what everyone's doing. I like the dog opening more than the militant opening. I don't see any reason to play militants anymore, especially in equal levels. I think you should just be playing wheels. Uh, I think Blitz should just have wheels instead of militants in this deck, but... Uh, just just wheels everywhere right i think wheels I, I yeah i think it's there's not very many decks that don't want to be playing wheels right now i think wheels are just one of the strongest units in the game yeah, they're, they're too good not to run yeah but hey some people like rifleman and i don't blame them i love rifleman as well so okay so i'm kind of curious about this predator tank like what's it going to deal with it yeah. doesn't seem to be doing much of anything tanks are so strong in rivals it's really hard to make a tank and have it be the wrong decision the only time you get punished by making a tank is when your opponent immediately takes into air and makes a Banshee or a Mohawk. I, I suppose it could have been that he was rarely. anticipating a tank, um, but... Do you think, Blade, do you think it's correct to actually wait and see what your opponent builds and then make a counter, or do you think it's better to try and anticipate the play? I would probably have preferred to see him wait here a little bit, um, but there does come a point where you have unit cooldown and you need to make a unit so that you have battlefield presence. And we see Blitz made a huge error here. He uh, popped up his drill pod next to a tank and a jump jet squad. And they both took a shot at it. And two flame troopers died. Because the drill pod is a vehicle when it's coming up. Exactly. Um, so yeah, you don't it takes more damage from vehicles at the beginning. Yeah, you don't want to pop it next to anti-vehicle units. And this dog versus flamer matchup might decide this this, this uh, missile in the top. Oh, no, here we go. Dog, he kind of saw that on the top pad there, right? Like where he boosted his, uh, his shocks onto that top pad. And actually lost that trade <laughs> because he went into the defender's advantage. Yeah, I think that we... But he um, took the missile. Mexlayer took a pretty commanding lead on that missile. I think he just... Did. Yeah. It's hard to say anything else. Mexlayer just won that missile pretty easily. I think Blitz got a little overwhelmed there. And I think we kind of just saw... Kind of saw the power of uh, GDI War Factory. Like, the Predator was able to easily deal with the Scorpion. And also the power of Jump Jet Troopers. Mexlayer's Jump Jet Troopers have been a huge issue for Blitz this game. Because really the only... Well, he's got militants, which I think he probably should have pulled out to deal with the jump jets. Although he did have flames on the field, so maybe not. i got to agree with you. I think militants... He, he's, he's struggling for cash. I think militants are cheap, and they would have done as good a job as the flames against jump jets. I think he'd be better off making some militants since they're in his deck. Yeah, that's a good point. They also soak up a lot of damage. So even against dogs, they'll hold a pad for a while. And we saw the dogs just take the top pad. And I think Blitz could have moved a cheap unit up there. And he's, oh, he's, not, he's playing this so well. Yeah, he, Blitz is not getting the matches he wants. Uh, he, this Banshee is not great against Pipple. It'll do okay, but it's going to lose to the boost. Um, we saw him lose the Scorpion tank to the to the, to the jump jets. Next needs to get on this pad quickly. Oh, he does. Come on, get on the top pad. There you go. Oh, there Blitz, is, go. Blitz is moving his units in the wrong way completely. Oh, he's oh just he doesn't about get the block on. on the top pad. Oh, I think, uh, I think Blitz might get this one I think here. Blitz is going to take this one pretty comfortably because of the yeah, lack like... of the block. I think if Mixlay gets that block, he just wins the game there. Such a great job up to that, till that point, too. He should have had that missile. Blitz just loses that Banshee for no value. Too much micro on it. Not enough AFK uh, shooting stuff. Speaking uh, of AFK, exactly. he's flame troopers up the top. And now we're seeing an example of why Talons beat um, Banshees straight up. Because even though each Talon is losing 1v1, Mech Slayer has way more economy because his his, ban his Talons are so much cheaper. That's right. Yeah, and you can just keep pumping him out. But Blitz just has way more battlefield presence. Mech Slayer really needs to, to do something about that. He needs to take back the field. And these Talons are, are going to do going to start well, but... Yeah, it's looking rough for him. I, I, I don't even know who's going to win this one. I think Blitz is Blitz just run out of cash, it looks like. And he built a tank there, too. He should have built jump jets instead. Yeah, oh, and wow, Mexlayer just takes it. The Banshee doesn't even get it in time. And I think that was... Um, Mexlayer accrued a large amount of money off of the trades with the Talon. And that was what allowed him to win that game. Because at the end, Blitz just ran out of cash and Mexlayer didn't.